Well, we are halfway through dry January when many people give up alcohol for the month. Congratulations to all of those you, all of you participating. You've made it halfway through. This morning, author Hillary Scheinbaum is with us to talk more about the initiative and some tips for those struggling to make it all the way through. She wrote The Dry Challenge, How to Lose the Booze for Dry January, Sober October, and Any Other Alcohol-Free Month. Welcome. Thank you for having me. So for those of those of you out there who aren't quite sure, just explain a little bit more about Dry January and who participates usually. Yeah, so Dry January is the act of giving up all booze. That means wine, beer, spirits, and cocktails for the full month. That's all 31 days. Yeah. And this is really for social drinkers and people who, you know, drink with their friends or maybe have a glass of wine at night. Um, this is not a recovery method. Right, right. So explain a little bit now that we're at the halfway point. Point. What are some of the benefits that people see that you've seen yourself because you you were doing it now and you started this is your how many six years? This is my seventh, seventh year. year. Yeah. yeah. So about now you should be having better sleep, clearer skin, improved digestion, certainly an elevated mood because alcohol is a depressant, and you know things like that. Financial savings. Too. I was going to say a little <laughs> more money probably in your wallet. Yeah. Um, what are some tip? What are some of the tips that you have? for keeping up with it. Yeah, so one of my tips is to recruit a friend and they can start anytime, even now if they haven't been doing it so far. Another one is to replace your alcoholic beverages with non-alcoholic versions. So there are so many non-alcoholic beers, wines, spirits, and cocktails now. I mean- It's really changed through the years. Absolutely. Because now it's really more dry January, is really more of a thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's caught on for sure. And you have some examples. I do. Yeah. yeah, there's some wine here. There's some uh, there's some sparkling wine. There's some gin. So beer too. You can't yeah. go wrong. Yeah. Um, and I thought it was interesting. One of one of the things you wrote about what you should say to people. What are some tips for friends or relatives of people doing dry January? Yeah, I think, you know, if you know someone do, doing dry January, you should be very supportive. If somebody is asking you what your reasons are, you can tell them, you know, I want to see how my skin improves or maybe I'm getting up early the next day. But overall, I think, you know, less intake of alcohol, the better. And you can just share your benefits and, and talk a little bit about your personal story. How did you start Dry January the first time and how has it changed how you deal with, not deal with alcohol, but how you, you know, drink or not drink? Yeah, today? so yeah. on New Year's Eve 2016, I made a spontaneous silly bet with a friend. It was really random. Um, we decided to see who could go the entire month without alcohol and I ended up winning and, <laughs> and certainly right. winning a very fancy dinner. Um, but I gained so many perks and it really changed my relationship with alcohol. So this is my seventh year. I've drank less and less every year since and yeah, I feel great. So I definitely recommend it. And so for people, obviously you can do it at any time, as you said yeah. in the intro. Um, and and just, just lastly, what are some just final things you wanna say about it? I will definitely say it's important to be kind to yourself. Alcohol is such a big part of our culture and certainly in New York. So right. if you, you Slip know, up or something. Yeah, if you have one drink, that's okay. You can just start again or consider it a damp January because <laughs> You know, if you're drinking less, it's a win in my book. Absolutely. And speaking of your book, you have it yes. here, The Dry Challenge. It is available <laughs> wherever you can buy your books. Thank you so much, Hillary. Thank you for having me. We appreciate that and all of the tips. And we will be right back.